It's pretty greedy, but they didn't show to have hourglass earlier. So unless they just drew hourglass. Yeah! Let's go! Oh my gosh, this Katarina, y'all. And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat, and everybody on YouTube for some Katarina Zareth. That's right, random champion casual Friday will give us some really odd pairings sometimes, because it is random. And so we got Katarina and Zareth paired together. Difficult deck to build, you know, if you think just starting with those two champions three copies of each champion how to go from there what we decided to do is make a landmark destruction deck and really focus on the landmark destruction for Zareth because you know we want to level up Zareth by destroying four ally landmarks and then you know have some extra removal so we're basically making a landmark destruction deck but then also a fairly aggressive landmark destruction deck that can maybe reward us we're going to have Katarina in here you know be able to level up and then rally uh each time it's summoned so we ended up just going all shirima there's enough shirima cards with all the landmark synergies with Sh shirima and trimmed it down just to that and you know we'll have katarina is just kind of like an an extra card in here <laughs> but besides that going mono shirima we have some ways to buff up our champions too we're going to be playing uh two copies of herald of the mages so that whenever we destroy our four landmarks which we should not that difficultly uh, then all of our champions get everywhere get plus two plus two and overwhelm thought that could be kind of cool with katarina also having katarina with overwhelm and then we'll also have two copies of siphoning strike for some removal that will then grant our champions plus two plus two also so we could maybe make some larger katarinas and zareths and attack with those also going to go two copies of risen altar haven't played this card yet but if we're destroying a lot of our own landmarks, which we're going to have Desert Naturalist, Unleashed Energy, Ride of the Arcane, we're going to have nine ways to destroy our own landmark. This can be a 7-6 Overwhelm Spell Shield. We know how good Ruin Runner was as a 6-4. Well, we're going to try to make it a 7-6, um, so even larger. I thought this could be kind of nice with Katarina of getting multiple attacks. Also works well with Siphoning Strike. So we're going to have a couple of those. And then the rest of the cards are going to be our landmark synergies. Uh, you know, like getting getting more landmarks in play, destroying some landmarks, all that kind of stuff. So that's going to be our deck, Katarina Zareth. Okay, we got Vladimir Braum. So they're probably going to be a Scar Grounds deck. We do have Desert Naturalist that can blow up a Scar Grounds. Let's... Maybe to start with the Preservarium. Kind of go from there. Katarina says three mana, but this is not a card that you really want to play at three mana very often. It's going to really be more of a... Um, yeah, more, more of a late game champion than a round three champion. to destroy some landmarks. We've destroyed one landmark so far. This could let me ride of the arcane, the preservarium, to kill the Braum. It's unlikely that they can protect Braum from here. And we don't get to draw the other card. It's too bad. But. Gotta get Braum out of here. Hmm. Think about just playing on Raveled Earth Preservarium this round. Yeah. 
If I don't Preservarium, we can have the mana for Ride of the Arcane, so maybe I don't actually Preservarium. No, I kind of want to get... Let's see, because next round we're looking at six mana. Okay. For the Empire. The few for the many. The great Magus leads us to glory. All right, make these things larger. For decades, and you call on me now. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I called you like the other day, but you didn't pick up. So that was my best play for this round, but that didn't really help like help me set up a Zareth. They waste three mana. Like, I could attack there and challenge that and then have my 5-3 attack in also. But it just, like, sets up again pretty well for them using spells. Alright, so I assume I'm going to Ancient Hourglass. We'll go and make the obvious blocks. I assume I'm going to Ancient Hourglass and save Zareth. That would be my assumption. But I'll just make the obvious blocks. Uh, could be, like, you know, like Death's Hand. Or not Death's Hand. You know, Death... The one damage to everything. Card. Whatever that card's called. Okay. Death Lotus. That's what, sorry, that's what I was thinking. Death Lotus, I shard. That kind of stuff. Hello, my darling. We could certainly use Desert Naturalist blow up their star grounds. My glory. All right, so if I do that, and that takes three. Would you look at this place? Let's go rock hopper. Yeah, they pass. Best case scenario would be, you know, Siphoning Strike, the 7-6 Spell Shield. That doesn't help them. Still destroys, still does through that... I don't know if they knew that they were going to just throw that away, but they did just throw that away, and they just threw that away. Alright, but that's going to be it. Then we'd Siphoning Strike. Doesn't look like they'd be able to stop the Siphoning Strike on the... Um... Yeah, it's a good point. Beat Your Eyes would have a good point saying, like, that's why you check the eye. Because if they would have targeted their own thing with the... You know, if they would have done the eye and seen what, see what was going to happen, and then target with... The ravenous flock and then check the eye again they would have realized that the uh, ravenous flock did nothing so as you can see we're kind of a you know we're a very heavy landmark deck that just has a katarina in it please pass the round please don't play zoe that's too bad that's too bad Preparation's not a bad one to make. Next round, preparations plus preservarium. Could do, you know, pre preparations right of the arcane. Target Zoe. I 
I could do the Unraveled Earth and pass and see if they play like, but they wouldn't play like an Eye of the Dragon, right? You know, into the Bomber Twins attacking. Like maybe they'd have like a Mountain Goat or something, but you know. yeah, like they just wouldn't play Mentor of the Stones. They would just pass the round. Um, I'm probably going to want. It's between Hourglass and Mages. Right now we're at one out of four. This is going to be two, three. Like, we're going to get to four fairly easily. But I think I'm still going to take Hourglass. Because I'm planning on playing the Xerath this next round. Thank you, Rex. Thank you, Rex. I appreciate that. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Okay, so we're this moon glow is a problem. This this whole Zoe this whole round one Zoe thing was a problem. <laughs> Let's start. I guess I should have used that ride of the arcane while I could. Let's just start with this. We're not doing other attacks into the straggling. I'm doing this attack so that uh, like a Guiding Touch or a Pale Cascade, either one of those doesn't save the Eye of the Dragon instead of doing the 2-2. Thank you, Rex. Okay. Get rid of that. So I guess my plan is just... Probably just double Preservarium and just get these countdowns going. Ooh, okay. Master yourself, master your enemy. I think I'm probably just playing the Hourglass this round. Oh, that that has to be when I'm summoned, so it has to. I have to wait on that. That's not a, it'll happen later. Oh, but the bad part about Hourglass, because they're going to challenge. Mm. Yeah, Hourglass is actually kind of bad, because they challenge, then I Hourglass. The Hourglass goes way to the right on, on our uh, battlefield. And so then if it's way on the right, then the Preservarium will happen first, then this Preservarium will happen first. And then, like, with the... Like, we won't actually, you know, we won't get the Xerath in play till after all these, but I want that Xerath in play. So, we need to do... Oh, no, but Un Unleashed Energy doesn't work either. Uh, so, this just doesn't work, because this is going to go way over to the right. Man, that's that's really unfortunate. So, we're just going to miss out on the six damage from these Preservariums that I need. Man, that's really too bad. There's not a way to stop that, though. That too, too. Yeah, that's that's messy. Because of Hush, I feel like I should just play the Unleashed Energy, because I can basically, I can play this right now and destroy one of these landmarks and then kill Zoe. And I think that that's just what I have to do. Um... Because we can just do that. And so I think that's the, that's the play. Because of Hush. Stands beneath me and wins behind me. Yeah, 
four mana left. Yeah, I'm doing real good. Hmm. All right, so I was doing that to to because we wouldn't get they have the barriers, so we wouldn't do the four damage there, but we would do the damage with the Zareth, the three damage with the Zareth. Now this does the three damage with the Zareth. They they can't stomp that, but you know now they get to just play some spells and challenge Zareth. And I can't stomp that. But we did draw a new Zareth. So that's that's good, that's good. Of course, as always, hoping no overwhelm, but I don't think they're gonna have overwhelm here. I don't expect that. My lands need me. Center your spirit. From the desert. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly what you think of the Risen Altar. I, you know, I wanted to try it out here and everything, and it, it seems okay. It's not absolutely amazing, but I think it kind of does its job. That's what it feels like. You can tell they don't want to play any other units basically at all because Zareth would kill them. The other units, that is. We're going to have 12 mana, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I can do all three of, or so I can do all of these. So we can play that and then play also play both Ride of the Arcanes. Destroy now, I... Landmark to do four to an enemy unit. We'll see if they have another deny, which they do. Destroy an allied landmark. Try again. Two denies gone. Unlikely that we win. Lee Sin just, you know, too good. Okay. Because all they need is, like, something that buffs up the Lee Sin just a little bit. Ugh, I need I need one more of those Burst Speed deal three. You know, Burst Speed destroy Landmark, or destroy something. That's what I need. Okay. So, hoping this works. I think that's my best course of action right now. I've already used two denies. Oh, right. It, that thing just gets a barrier. Right. So, obviously, this isn't going to work. There's nothing else for me to do. I could have played the Katarina first, but then they, they just go to Challenger anyway. So, yeah, the Katarina would have gotten me the Blade's Edge. Leeson can still dominate game. GG's. I've waited too long to be denied. Zoe Nami. Alright, so Zoe Nami is weaker to Zareth, because they do have to play units. They don't get they can't just play like one Leeson that just kills your Zareth and kills you. So you're definitely gone. I like the Bomber Twins. We'll send the other stuff back for now. Stands beneath me and wins behind me. They want to bank their spell mana for Nami anyway. It's not like not attacking is a great idea. Alright, nice! You just claim the card back? 
Awesome. You're you are welcome. It's And I do want to make that trade. I know it's not like a great trade for me, but I do want to make the trade because I want them because I want them to have less things in play for Zareth. The less things, the better. good. So we have a lot of ways to blow up landmarks. We need to find more landmarks. If it was important, they should have built it better. I think it's going to kill this one. Yeah, it usually kills the one on the right when there's two that are tied. Oh, the apprentice and the plunder portal are tied. It just kills the one on the right, so... It's too bad I'd rather kill the elusive, but that's how it is. Getting the 5-4 in play does help siphoning strikes, just makes it more likely that siphoning strike kills stuff. We're at two? Yeah, we're at two. Zero cost, burble fish. Never play fair. Got a pill cascade out of their hand. Alright, so they got eight cards. What are we doing? Giving that thing life steal. Alright. So they both got lifesteal. All my removal spells are slow. Very, very slow. In fact. Might as well try one. Kind of expecting Bastion, but you know, ne never know. I'm just trying it on the smaller thing, make it more difficult to protect. are able to protect. I guess I don't have to do this. I could just do the plus two plus one. No, we'll just we'll destroy. So destroying does one damage to the sparkle fly. And now makes this thing a nine five. That's gotta be a little bit more likely that it kills it. <laughs> As a nine five. Alright, so that thing dead. Get some plus two, plus twos over here. I will have the ability to play two Katarinas this next round also. So we can get lots of attacks in. We can open attack. And then we can play two six power Katarinas and get three attacks this round. That's my goal for Zara Katarina. Violence solves everything. 
Oh man, that put him down to one. Well, that's not very much life. Okay, two and one. Look at us go with Zareth Katarina. Or I guess technically Katarina Zareth. Senna Gangplank. So you've seen these kind of decks with like Twisted Fate Gangplank before? That's, this is going to be the kind of deck that's going to kill lots of small things. But they're going with Senna as the other champion. Alright, let's keep the Bomber Twins. We need to find more landmarks to destroy. Preparations is good. Kind of want this Risen Altar. Yeah, let's get let's take Risen Altar for this matchup. Yeah, lots of cheap things. But Spell Shield 7-6. That should be pretty good. Alright, that's not bad either. Open Attack or Endless Devout first? Let's go to Devout. I don't know exactly what they're going to do, but... Alright, it looks like Mega Rain. So that would have... You know, the Mega Rain would have dealt damage by Nexus and killed both of those, but now we save the two Nexus damage and put it on the Devout instead. And I'd rather have that two damage on the Devout than my Nexus, probably. But maybe not. Powder kegs would make it rain. Pretty good. Alright, refill. Refill. Okay. So they wasted an extra three mana than us. If they would have played like a center, you know, like tapped low or something, then I would have been able to play a Xerath and get extra damage in with this. But they didn't. So I didn't want to play my Xerath. They kill Xerath right there. You could say I got a life wish. All right, stun. Keep that thing from attacking. Play that, grow Zareth. Oh, would you look at this place? All right, Rock Hopper. I'll be sad if we lose this game, but it's possible. This Petty Officer is a good card. That that blocks my Restored Devote well and, you know, takes up a Xerath ability and everything like that. So this works. The 4 damage kills the Senna. The stun thing stuns the 3-1. And the Xerath ability kills the 2-1. And so we just get rid of all of their stuff. Okay, not quite. We don't get rid of the 2-1. But still stun. Kill that. 2-1 we can challenge with I guess the 2-4. Maybe just have like the 1-1 one, one kill it. Yeah, because like this thing, this rock hopper just dies to everything anyway. Let's keep Harold up at 4-4. Four, four. Yep, best way to kill an opponent. Have cards in hand. That double Perseverium drew lots of cards. Man, a noble, another Herald of the Mag Magus? I guess. Sure. Anything can be scattered with elements, even us. Never. 
Alright, so planning on Blade's Edge, the 3 1. Buff up something, plus 4, plus 2, burst speed, get the, the 7 6 overwhelm burst speed. Drain 5. Why does that have to be Drain 5? Just forces them to have a fast speed thing that does one damage, even though that is very likely forces them to have it. Drain 5 puts them to 17, so I can challenge the 4 5 first. Well, that's that's slow speed. That doesn't help them. Oh, but the powder cake does that? No, never mind. Yeah. Never mind. And they should use that to get rid of the spell shield. So it's probably too greedy by playing the Katarina right there. I mean, should have waited until. All right, I'm I'm happy with that. That you know just gets rid of that knock him down. That really wasn't much different from that knock him down. Just get, got rid of a card in hand for almost no value. They got a little bit. They got two out of five for gangplank. I want a champion. There's a champion. I never... Hey, you the best. That's not vengeance. Only fools hesitate. I actually want to challenge that thing right there. All right, cool. Leveled up, Katarina. They'll never know what killed them. Cool. Oh, and I guess they're dead. I guess that's pretty cool too. But man, talk about a scary Katarina. Give it plus four, plus four, and overwhelm. And that was even not including siphoning strike that I had in my hand that you know potentially could have gotten another plus two, plus two. Oh, we got a Zareth mirror. Zareth Ziggs. Can y'all believe we are three and one with Katarina Zareth? That's pretty good. Because the naturalist is really strong. I kind of like the naturalist and the herald. But we need to have landmarks to destroy. I guess we just can't keep the naturalist. And probably shouldn't keep the herald, but... Herald looked really good there. How many heralds do we have in this deck? Yeah, there's only two heralds in the deck. I could see this being a good herald matchup. Yeah. Because getting Xerath out of the deal four damage range, right? So like they can't have like the deal four card to kill Xerath. I guess this is probably going to just end up end up with us getting annihilated by the arsenal, isn't it? That's probably just going to be the uh, way this game finishes. This card, this Ride of the Arcane, is like the removal spell that we both play, and so that's why I want to get this Xerath out of Ride of the Arcane damage range. Yeah, the most random pairing is so far performing the best. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna see what it does? 
Sure. What does it do? It goes boom. I love to have that card. I just don't have landmarks to destroy. Don't have anything to play. Really wish I had Unraveled Earth. That was pretty clutch for them having that. Now they're both both their champions are leveled up. And I'm sitting over here one out of four. Gross. So I did take up that Unraveled Earth, the Roiling Sands. Um, the Katarina did. I am surprised that's blocking. That doesn't really wor seem worth saving three life to get rid of the t that thing, but I don't know. It's really tempting to play the Siphoning Strike right here. That's really tempting to play that Siphoning Strike right here, but... Um, you know, then we waste that Blade's Edge. I kind of feel like we want that Blade's Edge. So we've only destroyed two landmarks. Gross. I guess we're just playing Zareth. I can't protect Zareth from the deal 4, though. That's why I don't want to play Zareth, but I guess we're just playing Zareth. It's four allied landmarks to destroy. Leveled up, right? So it's doing two to the blocker. Hmm. You will not hinder my progress for long. Yeah, this is just. I will unmake you. I will run you over. Out of my way. It's not good. Not good at all. Our landmark deck has failed us. Just don't have landmarks. There's a landmark, yay. Three out of four for Harold. Many, many, many more landmarks. The thing about Siphoning Strike in this matchup is Ancient Hourglass, so it makes it tough to fire it off. And I'm just so jealous of my opponent. <laughs> Got to draw Unraveled Earth a couple of times, I'm so jealous. Like, look at all those landmarks that are going to get destroyed over there. All they got to do is play like a Xerath and GG. Bomber Twins. That's going to give me a landmark. Bomber Twins created Preservarium, which drew the Unraveled Earth. Wow. I'm just so jealous. This game seems to have taken forever.
Hexplosive Minefield could be kind of good against the Arsenal, but it's still the Arsenal, so probably not that good. Like, if they have an Arsenal, probably GG's. Anyway. Well, hope they don't have a way to protect. They do. GG. Yes! Wow! No hourglass. Because, yeah, like, that Xerath's gonna kill us. Oh, come on! A second Xerath? That is quite rude. It gave us hope for just a second. That costs five. So I have four mana left, so I could play like a Katarina or a Horus I think strike. We make this place ready. Ah, hey, I am feeling great. Where there is a rock, there's a rock. Dude. Yeah, my thing's vulnerable. Theirs is vulnerable. It's gonna also just be a 6 6. Yeah, landmarks used to be pretty non existent. The last expansion really did add a ton to the landmark decks. Absolutely. No. Alright. All right, I'm passing, I'm passing. I'm hoping all three of their cards are Inventive Chemists and Rock Hoppers. I hope they just don't do anything. All right, so it's going to destroy and deal four, then also does two. So that's fine, that's fine. I'll go Rock Hopper. Blocker. This doesn't have. Would you look at this place? Doesn't have vulnerable. It's pretty greedy, but they didn't show to have hourglass earlier. So unless they just drew hourglass, yeah. Let's go! Oh my gosh, this Katarina, y'all. Oh my gosh, this Katarina, y'all. Y'all, this Katarina is gonna be striking. I would love to, to you know, vulnerable challenge that with my uh, quick attack, but it just kind of makes sense to use the attack token first before playing Katarina. 10 power overwhelm Katarina. Come on, don't concede. Come on, play this out. Even, like, I don't think the arsenal stops this, right? Like, I don't think, it, I don't think a big lifesteal over, like a lifesteal arsenal would even stop this card. What a way to finish out. Katarina Zareth. They have to have the stun landmark, which they could. They could have the stun landmark, but that's what they need. They but then we have this other 10 power. That is an awesome Katarina. <laughs> Double siphoning strike and a herald of the mages. <laughs> Katarina been hitting the gym. No going back. There is no going back from this. Our deck did what we wanted it to do. Yeah. Yeah. Now, nah, let's have Cat hit for lethal. 
Can't believe those siphoning strikes worked, but they didn't have an hour class. Wow, got the win. I was not expecting to win that, how awkward our hand was and how good their start was, but they just didn't have like one copy of the arsenal to finish the game out, and they didn't have one copy of Ancient Hourglass to protect Xerath and basically finish the game out. They didn't have either of those. What a surprise! Katarina Zareth. That could be our best uh, random champion deck of the day. What a surprise. 4-1 record. I have to say I was just really impressed just with, you know, obviously our deck wasn't really a Katarina deck, right? We were a landmark destruction deck, like destroy our own landmark deck. And I was pretty impressed with that. I was surprised at how well that all worked together. As far as like making this a more competitive deck, it would probably be without Katarina, of course. But just, I was impressed with with all this Shurima stuff, I could see just having Bandal City just play Ziggs. You know, because we are, you know, because you're kind of aggressive here, just like Ziggs, Hexplosive Minefield, and Inventive Chemist. Like, just even just these three cards from Bandal City and then kind of keeping the rest. I actually think I liked that Risen Altar. I think that that did help us win a couple of games. 7 6 um, Overwhelm Spell Shield. That is no joke. Honestly, like, Siphoning Strike overall, like, Probably wasn't that great overall. Like I could see getting rid of Siphoning Strike, Katarina, that could fit you in some some of these, and then uh, I don't know something else. But yeah, it would that actually worked out pretty well. So Katarina is awesome. I think that's what we learned. <laughs> and get Katarina to be super big. That was that was pretty fun. All right, so that's Katarina Zareth. So those y'all watching later on YouTube. Hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments and let me know if you're surprised at the power here of Katarina Zareth and the consistency actually and ending up winning those games. Um, yeah, but yeah, overall, hopefully y'all really enjoyed it because I, I certainly did. But yep, leave those comments, hit that like button, all of that. But that's it for this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next one.